I was at uh, the Humana Challenge. It's what it was the name of the tournament, the old Bob Hope and Palm Springs. Yeah. This, this was years ago. And Humana had just come on board as the title sponsor. And also coming on board as part of the tournament and part of the sponsorship was the Clinton Foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, now, the Clinton Foundation, uh, headed up by Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton, you know, do a lot of charitable things uh, around the world. And so I was invited by an executive in the tournament to come to a party. And so I said, okay, I feel like I've got to. And I show up at the party and I see these big three black Suburbans out in the front yard. Now, this was in a small house, about 3,000 square feet, not super small, but obviously it wasn't a big party space. It was a house. Right. And so, um, so I said, man, is President Clinton here? And so I walk in and there was a small gathering of about 40 people. And, and I look around and sure enough, there's President Bill Clinton. And mm. the tournament director said, hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're so excited everyone's here. We are also excited to have Humana on as a title sponsor and to be aligned with the Clinton Foundation. As a matter of fact, President Clinton is still here. Mr. President, would you like to say a few things? And so he walks over and he says, you know, hey, how y'all doing? I'm really, I'm really, really having a great time. I love golf and I love the PGA Tour and I love the players and I love their wives as well. As a matter of fact, one of the, one of the wives came up to me today and said, Mr. President, we have got to stop human trafficking in Asia. And I said, you're right. We've got to do that. And I don't know. I can't remember her name. Uh, she was so nice. But I'm drinking Grey Goose and I'm digressing. Y'all have a good night. And I'm like, holy <laughs> cow. <laughs> now, now me, being, me being out on the PGA Tour, I know the players and their wives as well. And so I was like, wow, I think he's talking about Ben Crane, who unfortunately is not on the PGA Tour anymore, but a wonderful human. Yeah. And, his wife, and his wife, Heather, both of them work for a charity that, that actually goes to Asia and pulls kids out of brothels. I mean, they're so oh, wow. devoted to this. So they're, well, they're, you know, they're impressive people. And so I felt compelled to tell President Clinton that night that he, he spoke with Heather Crane. So an hour or so uh, went by, and I'll never forget, I went over into the kitchen area where Mr. Mr. Clinton was, because I'm about to leave. And he's, he's eyeball to eyeball with some guy, and I'm perpendicular to the right. And I just happen to hear, standing by the conversation, and I hear him say to this gentleman, you know, I, I've been the leader of the free world, but, <laughs> but it doesn't matter to me. When she walks in the room, it immediately lightens up. She is the sun to my solar system. I okay. love I love Chelsea. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's a, a, sweet, a sweet moment. He's talking about right. his daughter, how much he mm -hmm. loves her. And then he catches me in his peripheral vision, and he looks at me and he says, son, do you have children? And I said, oh, no, sir, Mr. President. My wife and I have been married just for a short time. And I said, but we're thinking of having kids. And like... Moses Malone used to do with the Philadelphia 76ers. He threw an elbow to this guy and he took his left hand and put it on my right shoulder and his right hand and put it on my left shoulder. He says, son, I've been the president of the United States, <laughs> but I have to tell you, quote, when a little Chelsea popped out of Hillary's womb, I knew my meaning in life. And I'm looking at him like this, and I'm thinking, man, I am, I am in a Saturday Night Live skit right now. <laughs> and, and he's looking at me, and he's realizing I'm not picking up what he's put, putting down, and he starts to shake me. Son, you've got to have children. <laughs> and, then, and when that happened, when that happened, that, in, that looks like an engagement of violence. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so all these people with earpieces come and grab me and grab him and start pulling oh, no. out. <laughs> and so his aide is there and I'm like, hey, the story he was talking about, her name was Heather Crane, Ben Crane's wife. <laughs> leave. And the funniest thing was that uh, I call my wife and I, uh, as I'm driving home and I tell her the whole story. So you get right. me. I was like, hey, we, I think we just, <laughs> we, we just got an executive order to procreate. 